is Japan and Bow House, as you remember and love them. Now, Mick Carn and Peter Murphy from those respective bands have actually teamed up together and now are in a band called Dally's Car. But can I ask you, first of all, were you real fans of each other's bands? I mean, did you see Bow House live then? Um, no, I must admit, um, I hadn't. I didn't really know anything about that. So that house. hasn't changed your mind then about the partnership? No, no. <laughs> Um, I knew more about Pete Murphy than, than I did actual Bauhaus, so um, it wasn't because of the respective groups we were in that we got together, no. So how did you get together, Pete? I mean, how did you make this part? Well, we were both in, in that sort of no-man's land after the band split up, and we need uh, just, you know, looking around for respective people to work with. I was really interested in Mick's solo project and his own album. We actually got together through the the means of a Japanese journalist who, who gave each other our numbers and, you know, we rang each other up, met, and decided it would be a really good idea to actually, you know, try and work together. And it actually happened, you know, to a success, I think. Quite unusual to team up just as a pair rather than get a whole band together. I mean, do you think this is going to be difficult for you or is it going to make it easier to get your ideas across? Um, I think it's going to be a lot easier when it comes to the actual work um, recording. It's a lot easier to leave one person up to the vocals, one person up to the music. And you can be, you can be sure that everything's going to match itself if it's the same two people working on that. And I think it's going to prove to be difficult when we come to touring. Or, yes, because you play all the instruments, don't you, at the moment? So what would you have to do? Get session musicians in or something? Yeah, I, th I think it's going to take a lot of auditioning and to find a, a working unit that we can use in the future. You know. It's obviously going to be of great interest to the fans of the bands that you've left, though. I mean, Japan fans and Bauhaus fans are going to watch you very closely. Are you wanted to shake off those fans, get new ones, or, or what? Not really, just to interest them and show them there are more. There's more to us. There's, it's just like another direction for both of us, I think. I mean, especially after watching the Bauhaus clip, it was a very powerful, very hard rock, high energy thing. This is more like you know, the opposite to that. It's like the, the karma period. Is, um... Yeah, because like your, your new video that you're just going to see in a minute, it's, uh, it's very like a Michael Caine movie. It's quite exotic. It's not at all the things you were doing before. Mm. But where was it shot? Uh, we filmed most of it in Malta and some of it in Ireland. Mm. Um, we basically wanted to get away from the usual run of the mill video, so we made it look like a Michael Caine movie. Right, well, <laughs> let's see it now. This is Dally's car and Judgment is the Mirror. Yeah. 
I question her Around the clock 